Happy Friday to everyone on the call today. Today's host is Zoo Pans. As you guys may recall, uh, we get the opportunity to go to Zoo Pans, usually the last Friday of August every year, and uh, have a great brunch out in the Breezeway. Um, if you're seasoned burgers in the Breezeway folks, like Lynn and I are, we often meet there. Uh, you'll also uh, be super familiar with Zoo Pants and all the fantastic things they do. Uh, at this time, I would like to introduce Eleanor to all the folks on the call here, if you have not met before. Uh, she's a, been a great community partner to the Chamber uh, and out there on Lake Grove, absolutely, definitely. Um, and uh, I'd like to turn the meeting over to you, Eleanor, and give you, you know, three or four minutes uh, to uh, chat with the group today. And then I'll take some questions at the end if you're up for it. So Sounds Eleanor, I'm gonna toss it right over to you. Sounds great, thanks, Julia. Can everyone hear me? Good, okay. Well, I wish we were in the breezeway of our Lake Oswego store, um, hosting and enjoying breakfast burritos and some coffee, but unfortunately we're not, but so thankful to, be here and uh, get to talk to everybody. Just wanted to share a few things um, about what we kind of are doing right now. I'm gonna jump into, I just put a few slides together. Here we go. Oops. Sorry. All right, can you see my screen? I lost the... Not yet. Not yet. Hold on. Let's see. This worked so well yesterday, Liz, when yeah, we practiced. It I know. <laughs> Dang it. Um, you just pulled the curtain back and let us know there's practice that goes on. <laughs> Maybe. And if anyone ever wants to practice, I will be happy to practice with you for your for your presentation. Oh, there it is. Okay. Hooray. And this is not clicking the right button. Okay, there we go. Can everybody see now? Perfect. Yes. All right. So as you know, Zupan's Markets, we have three stores and obviously Lake Oswego. Um, is our newest store. It was uh, opened in 2012 and Zupan's Markets is a local and family owned store. It was started in 1975 by this man right here, John Zupan. He made his way to America via Croatia and moved to Oregon as um, a young boy and kind of moved up to Portland. He actually started at Sheridan fruit company selling produce and then worked his way up through Fred Meyer as a produce district manager and then in 1975 set off on his own and started his own his first zoo pans um, actually a partnership grocery store out in Gresham and then the first kind of zoo pan zoo pans actually in West Lynn in 1980 so and now his son Mike runs the store um, it truly is local and family owned. There are no outside investors. Um, it is, you know, it is the Zupan family. Mike Zupan is a real person. I'm sure some of you have met, have met him and bumped into him um, at the store. So uh, just great to share the story. And we are so thankful to be a part of the Lake Oswego community. And it's been really fun to get to know everybody um, throughout the time of, of building this community at our, at our Lake Oswego store. Um, so many, uh, Julia talked about our burgers in the breezeway and despite the crazy pandemic, we are still making burgers in the breezeway happen with all the health and safety measures, um, needed. Everything is to go, but would love for you to join us for the rest of the month. We'll do burgers throughout September, um, 11 to 2 PM for lunch and then 4 to 7 PM for dinner. And every, every week there's a weekly burger special. Um, fries, just a great time, um, you know, great opportunity to get a burger. This is kind of a new something we've been doing out of the pandemic, but are ready to heat meals. Um, each of these meals serve four and you can order online for same day pickup. So if you order by noon, 
you can pick up curbside between 3 and 7 p.m. And we have six different options, salmon and roasted chicken and porchetta, um, and just really delicious meals. Again, another opportunity um, just to enjoy food and not have to cook um, during this time. So, and then, um, I don't know if a lot of you have come to our big dinners in the breezeway. It's one of the things I am missing most this summer because of the, you know, that we haven't been able to do because of the pandemic. But we got creative and our lobster and clam bake is one of the most popular things in um, the summer in our store. So we have created these dinners to go. And so we do them on certain dates. We actually are, have one, we have six meals left for the one on Saturday and it, it serves two, it's our lobster and clam bake. It comes with a cheese and charcuterie platter, a delicious salad, and then two lobster tails and potatoes and clams and shrimp, um, and then dessert. And it also, every, every week we do it, it's paired with a different wine. So this week it's actually paired with a Veuve Clicquot. And then in, on September 12th, it's gonna be prepared with a um, French Chardonnay, I believe, so. And then this is just my little fun thing. These are my three favorite things in our store right now. We have this um, delicious summer gazpacho that's made locally by Three Little Figs. So if you like um, cold gazpacho soup, um, it is delicious. We also are serving this herb stuffed branzino. It's raw in our seafood case. It's a whole kind of European sea bass, um, really popular in the Mediterranean. It's stuffed and then all you do is throw it on the grill. Um, and then for those who like to spice it up a little bit, this harissa olive oil from Spain is one of my favorite things. Um, I put it on pizza, on eggs, on pasta, and it, it is just delicious. So just thought I'd share my little tasty trio for you. Um, and if you, signing up for our email list is the best way to learn about our store and kind of stay up to date on what is happening what's on sale, what's going on, and receive um, exclusive deals and recipes. Um, so that's it. That's kind of just what I wanted to share and just thankful to, to be here and uh, to be sharing with you today. Well, now that we're all hungry, I <laughs> haven't had breakfast yet, but I might have to swing by zoo cans, it looks like. Thank you, Eleanor, for that. I feel like a couple of those pictures I need as my Zoom background. Yeah. <laughs> um, those look absolutely delicious. Does anybody have any questions uh, for Eleanor about the store, about the community, about Michael and John, or how we can get involved? I see Christopher with a hand up. Go ahead. Absolutely, Eleanor. Thank you for the uh, dem demo, as it were, and the, and the video and the story. Uh, the story was so good, I, I've already logged on to zoopans.com, but I can't find where to order my lobster dinner. Where on zoopans.com do I order my lobster dinner? So if you click on the top, there's an order online button. It's a gold button kind of up at that top. You see that? Yes. Are you on? Yeah. So click there and then click on ready to heat meals. Gotcha. And then you'll see either the August 29th or September 12th option right now. And then once August 29th goes away, we'll have our next September date up there. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm watching all the eyes on the call, Eleanor. It looks like now everyone is distracted with ordering food from Zupian. So well done. Thanks. Liz, we'll go to you for the next question. I saw your hand. Yes, I, I'm thankful to Julia for introducing me to Burgers in the Breezeway. And then when I chatted with Eleanor yesterday, I absolutely had to have one last night. It was as good as the first one. I am guessing you have quite a following of people for these burgers. How many do you sell each week? I and think, how, how long are you going to go? Are you going through September, the end of September? Yeah, through September, I believe... Um, whatever that date is, September 24th, I think, I don't have a calendar, or whatever that last Thursday is, they typically go through. Um, I have not actually looked at numbers in a while, so, but they're what serving. Have, what, have your, what have your numbers been in the past, the last few summers? I know sometimes when we've gone there, especially, you know, at dinner time, we wait quite a long time. It seems like you have. Oh yeah, I mean, they've 50, been. 75 people there at a time. 
For sure. I mean, the numbers have been in the, you know, 300, 400. I don't, I can't remember what our max, you know, what our, um, our top number is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a popular thing, especially, you know, when you get to sit out there in the summer and it's just so, I mean, that, that breezeway setting is just so unique. Um, it's, it's definitely our favorite feature of that store. And so, and you guys, I mean, being in Lake Oswego, I mean, the community, that is one of the things when I first, when we first opened the Lake Oswego store and I had been coming to the chamber meetings prior to, um, the Lake Oswego store opening, just was so impressed with the community and how much people um, just know their neighbors and are wanting to gather with each other and are so friendly. Um, so that's, you know, that's what makes it special as well because of, you know, the community that's there. Fantastic. Any other questions for Eleanor? All right. Well, thank you, Eleanor, for sharing with us about the store today. I would uh, encourage everyone to promote zoo pans, especially during this time. You know, we have 14 or 15 months left of road construction out there. Uh, so directing people into the store is certainly helpful uh, to keep, uh, keep that treasure we have out there and those burgers in the breezeway, which are close to my heart. So thank you so much, Eleanor. Yeah, thanks, um, Julia. When we started this presentation, I asked if anybody had any shout outs and uh, Kay raised her hand. Uh, Kay, do you um, have your shout out ready? If so. Well, I wanna give a shout out. Am I on mute? For the last- uh, Are we on mute? Can you hear me? We can hear ya. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to give a shout to the farm. Uh, the last three weeks going, and I have to tell you, week, the recent uh, 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 customers has increased so much. And I just want to say that the produce is just outstanding.